gosh, what an absolutely That's massive play to play. Is he going to get the one shot? He gets the one, get the one hit KO! What it is, everybody? This is Pokemon Facts, Easter Eggs, and Trivia. I know some things about Pokemon, kinda. But here's some more things, so let's get started. Did you know Blossom's original artwork showed it as having the same skin color as Vileplume? This was later changed to the green color we're familiar with today, however the skin color remains in the Generation 2 shiny form of Blossom. Wobbuffet was actually created as an homage to a Japanese comedian by the name of Sanpei Hayashiya. He was famous for touching his hand to his forehead while saying his trademark line, That's the way it is, madam. A common misconception about Dunsparce is that it's very small, while in actuality it's the same height as Salamence. Do keep in mind, the height of snake-like Pokemon is actually recorded as their length, but that's still pretty crazy. It also begs the question how those children are all holding Dunsparce in the anime. Those must be some newborns or something because holy god. Despite being a regularly colored Jigglypuff, the Super Smash Bros. series Jigglypuff character has a shiny Jigglypuff's eye color. Its eyes are green instead of the normal blue coloring. In French, Charmander is known as Salamence. The names, however, aren't switched in French as Salamence is known as Dratak. Continuing on from this, and while still on the topic of the Super Smash Bros. series, if you play Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 64 with the French audio turned on, which can be done on any European copy if you go into the language menu, you can hear Charmander say Salamence when it appears in the door on the Saffron City stage. Skarmory actually had two tails in its gold and silver sprites. This has been corrected in every generation since. Did you know that when Veronica Taylor did her audition for the role of Ash, he was known as Casey at the time? This name would later be given to another character instead. Does anybody remember that extremely passionate baseball girl from the anime? Casey's character may actually be a reference to the Mighty Casey from a poem Casey at the Bat written in 1888 by Ernest Thayer. In the poem, Casey is an overconfident baseball player who believes he can win the game, but strikes out instead just like Casey does against Ash when she challenges him to a battle. There's a particular Pokedex entry for Macargo that tends to raise eyebrows for some. Its information from Sapphire version reads, Macargo's body temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Water is vaporized on contact. If this Pokemon is caught in the rain, the raindrops instantly turn into steam, cloaking the area in a thick fog. Despite the fact that apparently Macargo is so hot, water turns to steam before it even touches the Pokemon, Macargo is still four times weak to water. Voltorb and Electrode have experienced a subtle change over the years. The original artwork for these ball Pokemon clearly shows that they had a flat bottom, which presumably they used to balance on. The sprites in the Pokemon games through Crystal version demonstrate this as being true for Voltorb, while you can only tell the same is true for Electrode in red, blue, green, and silver versions, albeit the flat part has been moved to the top of the Pokemon in the first generation games instead. However, if you've ever played Pokemon Snap, you may recollect that there's a map with Electrode in it which shows it rolling around without any flat bottom whatsoever. Considering Pokemon Snap was released in 1999 in North America, and Pokemon Gold and Silver were released in 2000, this is a clear inconsistency in the games. And to finish off our facts for today, despite the infamous Electric Soldier Porygon incident, in which an episode of the anime caused seizures in hundreds of Japanese children, it was Pikachu, not Porygon, that caused the flashing red and blue lights in the episode. Interestingly enough, it was Porygon, however, who was booted from the anime, not Pikachu. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to leave a like or even a comment. Both of those are pretty amazing. And if you really liked what you saw and you think you could put up with me again, maybe even hit that subscribe button. Either way, thanks so much for watching, and see you guys next time on Pokemon Feet. foot. Polyworld. Foot.